This first fight really does speak for itself. A potential show stealer, a fight of genuine quality, which rightly deserves its own stage here today. Great to see so many of the uh, members of the media here. Two brilliant fighters, the ultimate prize in boxing, the undisputed title, a tremendous addition to this card and another marquee fight for boxing. To my right, I'm delighted to welcome to the stage the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world from Baltimore, United States of America, with a record of eight wins against a single defeat and one no contest. She is known as the heavy hitting diva, Franchon Cruz Desern. Welcome to you, and we're delighted that you could be here in person today alongside professional fighter and chief training partner, Glenn Desern Jr. Glenn, thank you. Thank you for having us. Across to my left, someone who needs very little introduction to our UK audience, the former WBO middleweight champion from Hartlepool with a record of 12 wins against a single defeat, the silent assassin Savannah Marshall, joined of course by her long-term long trainer Peter Fury. Great to see both of you as well. First, let's go to promoter Ben Shalom, uh, June 17th live on Sky Sports box office. Another special night of boxing, although I do just have to say, lesson learnt for both of us, we probably should text each other <laughs> before we sit at the top table, we've borrowed each other's jackets. Um, what, a, what a great addition to this card, you must be delighted, I think a few bleary eyes to get it over the line, but you're happy now, presumably. Yeah, the big fights. Um this is a big fight and it, and, it, and it took a long time. I want to thank Franchon for, for coming over here. She's a great champion and, and to come over to the UK in the way that she has as an undisputed champion as well. Thank you to her and, and Peter Kahn for, for everything they did to make this happen. October was a, was a special month. We put on the first ever women's card, a historical sporting event, a historical women's event and Savannah Marshall was every bit part of that, sold out the O2. Um, and now probably one of the most recognisable women in sport. Um, she comes off the back of October and she jumps straight into an absolutely huge fight. This is a 50-50 fight. She steps up to super middleweight and she wants to fight the very best. I think that says everything you need to know about Savannah Marshall. Many won't have expected this, many won't have believed it, but this is a true 50-50 fight, a quality fight, and um, thank you to Savannah, thank you to Mick Hennessy as well for, for getting this over the line. It's a, it's a very, very special fight. Ben, I'll come back to you later, but let's start with the champion. I mean, first off, we're running out of table space. This is, this is part of being the undisputed champion, all the belts on show. Um, welcome to the UK. It's a fight that you've welcomed and a fight that you've called for. How do you feel now? It's a well, I'm very, very pleased. I first want to thank Sky. I want to thank Boxer, Team Marshall, and uh, for accepting the fight, uh, partnering with me, the Heavy Hitting Diva Promotions, and of course, Peter Kahn for making it all come together. And uh, I'm just very excited. Uh, Marshall, she's a phenomenal fighter. We have long history. And I just want to give her respect for taking another hard fight. You know, she gave a valiant effort in October. Um, but it might not be the same. This is going to be a little worse this time. Presumably you disagree with promoter Ben Shalom. First thing he said there, it's a 50-50 fight. Is that fair in your eyes or do you see yourself as a favorite? I mean, you know, she has a deep amateur pedigree. I always go into the fight uh, planning to win. And, you know, whatever he wants to bet, I'm always going to bet on myself and I'm not going to lose, so. You were ringside, I mean, you mentioned that, that great night in October. Um, you were ringside and it's not lost on us that you were very quick to communicate a couple of thoughts to Savannah. I think before the decision had even been announced, what can you repeat if uh, you can repeat it on camera? No, no, it wasn't anything bad. I just went up to her, it's like, hey, I'll give you a shot at 168, let's do it, let's do it. Um, you know, we've had a, a bit of banter over the years and I, I wanted to fight before, you know, she used to fight at 168, but I don't know how she ducked me um, as the longest reigning super middleweight champ in history. I don't know how we missed each other, but timing is everything and we're here now, June 17th, we'll finally get it on. Savannah, timing is everything, and I, I suppose weight category as well is everything. How do you feel now moving up um, straight away to get a shot at Undisputed? Your, your thoughts now it's signed, sealed and delivered for June 17. I'm just really grateful to uh, Hennessy and, and Boxer and Sky for, for nailing this fight down. 
this is a fight I know myself and both um, Franchin have wanted for a long, long time. She's a very strong, uh, rugged, tough champion, very experienced. And, you know, this was one of the fights that I've wanted for a long time. So I'm just, I'm just glad it's here and glad it's set for the 17th of June. Did you always have one eye on super middleweight? What difference will the, the extra few pounds make? Um, I, I was always a big middleweight anyway. I think super middleweight's more my, my natural weight. Um, Frenchman's a, a big super middleweight. So I, I think it'll be a really exciting fight. We're both big, powerful girls. So I am... Um, yeah, like you said, I think it'll be a, a show stealer. The, the stats don't lie, and I know, it, you know records don't mean everything, but the power has been there at middleweight. Do you believe that you can bring it up to super middleweight? I believe I, I will, yeah. There's, there's no way cutting, no being drained for fights, that sort of thing. So I think this weight class will, will suit me a lot better. I know how dearly you wanted the fight in Newcastle, but if there is a, a venue that... Um, really does generate a, a hostile atmosphere and you know that we'll get behind you. It is the AO Manchester Arena um, off the back of October. And I know the result didn't go your way, but it was such a, such a historical night and the atmosphere and everything that came after it. How do you think it will feel at the top of the ramp walking back out into a similar sort of atmosphere? Oh, I'm not bothered where the fight is. I'm just glad that we've got a date, we've got a venue when it's on. Um, and another reason for me... Do you know, wanting a, a dance with French, and how can I go after losing my world title? How can I go back down to eight rounds when you know fans have supported me all over the country, people from Hartlepool the North East travelling all the way down to London? How then can I jump into an eight rounder and, and want to build myself again? I believe I'm at world level, and these are the sort of fights that I want. At the same time, did you have any reservations? I mean, talk about out of the frying pan into the fire, you know, a massive fight against Clarissa Shields that didn't go your way, but you're straight into an undisputed title fight. People probably would have forgiven you for a, for a comeback fight or a slightly easier route. No, not at all. I'm, I'm, I'm coming up 32 now and I've been boxing for 21 years, so if, if I'm not ready now, I'm, I'm never going to be. Do you know, time's... Times of the essence and time doesn't wait for anyone. And like I said, I believe I'm at word level. And if I can't mix it with the like of Fran likes of Franchin, then why am I in boxing? Are you confident that you win? I am very confident that I win. Uh, that I win. I'm not underestimating Franchin. Like I said, she's a tough, rugged, very experienced fighter. But I believe I beat her. Let's bring in uh, the wider training teams. Uh, Glenn, I, I spoke to you upstairs and you said, every step of the way I've been there, I, I, I know her better than anybody. Um, how do you think Franchon will uh, react um, on that night in a, in a big defence um, in sort of hostile enemy territory? Um, one thing about Franchon, she's not only a great fighter, she shows consistency, but she's a performer. Um, whatever level that you throw at her, she has the gift to rise above any level that you throw at her. I actually love to see her in big fights, fights that push her to the brink because she always shows something different. And it's going, all I know is going to be a spectacular night and we keeping these belts. You experienced that, that atmosphere. I don't want to keep going on about it, but how do you think you will react um, with the crowd? Probably against you. I think UK fans, we respect very good fighters, of which you are one. Um, at the same time, you know, I'm not going to lie, you're probably going to get booed to the ring. How do you oh, think yeah. you, you will react to that? This isn't my first rodeo. I fought in <laughs> on Mexican Independence Day against a Mexican, and they hated my guts. But at the end, they, they love me, and uh, I believe the same will be for the UK fans. They'll respect my passion. They'll see that I'm not only fighting against Savannah. You know, that's easy work. That's, I mean, that's fun for me. But I'm fighting for women's boxing. Um, once again, thank you for bo to Boxer for even partnering with, partnering with me to give me an opportunity to help motivate other females because, you know, we fight against so many inequalities as far as pay, promotion, being visible, and uh, just to be a part of this, this event with a very accomplished fighter like Marshall, it, it, it's bigger than me and I just can't wait to perform and just leave my mark. Yeah, brilliant words. We're um, very happy to, to have this fight on Sky Sports. I just want to pick up on what Glenn said there. He's probably underselling you just by saying you're a performer. I mean, that doesn't even begin to cover it, does it? Not everyone will know your story. Entrepreneur, uh, fashion label, yes. singer. 
promoter of the show. Yes. Um, am I missing anything out? I do it all. I do it exceptionally well. I mean, Savannah didn't know. I was there when you fought Clarissa, not on the outside of the ring. I was. I made her outfit, so I was there in spirit. Uh, and I, you know, you just have to be all you can be because life is short. You get one moment, and this fight, coming over here to the UK, risking every, my life's work to uh, build legacy and create more history, I'm just going to live it to the fullest. In regards to the fight, do you believe that Savannah will bring power up from middleweight? Uh, do you believe that she was a big puncher at middleweight? I, I mean, Savannah, she can fight. She's strong, big, strong girl. We, this isn't our first time. We, we fought over 10 years ago when I came to London at a test event. You know, she got the decision, but I don't feel it was the right decision. And, you know, June 17th, I have an opportunity to redeem myself for it, and she'll have an opportunity to prove herself if she can stay at a world-class level. But if she thinks it's going to be a walkover, over me to get to Clarissa or whatever else she thinks is she's going to go, she's going to have a very long night. What would your response to that be? Um, I mean, uh, here we are again talking about uh, amateur rivalries and a, a fight that was at the Olympic test event, like uh, uh, Franchon said, but it did go your way. Uh, what were your recollections of, of that fight? I'm sure you'll be clear to say you're both very different fighters and better fighters now, but you did get the W. Yeah, 100%. I don't think that amateur win has the same bite as my last one, so I'm not really going to hold on to that one. But, um, yeah, a long time ago, both different fighters, both a lot older, more mature. Our styles have changed to suit the pros. So, look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm no mug. I'm, I'm not overlooking her. I know she's a tough fight. I've seen her fight plenty of times. It's going to be a hard night's work. Let me bring in Peter Fury. Um, Peter, great to see you up here. Uh, What's your take on this fight? Did you have your, uh, I'm sure you did, I know you did, your opinion on, on where Savannah's career was going to go after the Shields fight? And did you welcome the, uh, the step up in weight and straight into Undisputed? Yeah, you know, boxing's hard in politics and uh, I'm just very happy to get this fight. We wanted Clarissa, but that didn't happen for whatever reason. Um, but, you know, Franchin's a great fighter, you know, and she's definitely, Savannah definitely does not think this is going to be a walk in the park. You know, because she is a good fighter. You know, all them belts are not sat over there for nothing. So it's, uh, I see it being a, a great fight, this, and the type of styles as well, the no-nonsense two fighters. I think the super middleweight suits Savannah better because she's more comfortable at that weight. You know, so I see it as a... What I'm very pleased about is, uh, one, that Franchin's come over here as a unified world champion. She needs maximum credit. And the second thing is, for women's boxing, it's on a real another level because we've got no, oh, hang on a minute, I don't want to fight you. I might, might get more money next time. Or I don't want to do this, don't want to do that. You know, boxing, a lot of it is, you know, it's all about how popular you are, you can speak. We've got fighters here. Savannah's fought the best in the world. She put a front foot forward and done the best she could. This is another 50-50 fight. And these are the fights we want to see for boxing as a whole, not just in women. But the women seem to be leading the way more than the men. So this is the fight we want to see. This is a real fight. And these are the fights we want to see. I'm a boxing fan as well as being involved in it. And we want to see good fights. Win, lose, or draw. It's not the end if you lose. All the greats over the past have lost. The only ones that don't lose is if they've had lucky decisions or they've had a right result or they've had a home crowd behind them or promoter knows somebody. At the end of the day, everybody gets wet sooner or later. It's how you come back from defeat, not about the loss. It's what you do when you, everybody says, you're finished, you're crap, you're this, you're that. How do you take it? You know, there's not a smooth ride in life. And boxing, who can say you're going to definitely beat the other one when you're in 50-50 fights? Let's see on the night, because when you make a mistake, you get found out. This is boxing. But at least we're seeing good fights in women's boxing, and this is a prime example of that. And do you just mind, and we're not here to talk about the past, but your reflections on the Clarissa Shields fight. I know you two have spoken publicly and, and individually, and I, you, were, you were put under the bus, weren't you, Peter? I think that you both addressed that uh, in interviews. Yeah, and, uh... well, anyway, it <laughs> must have been a light bus. Um, is it fair to say that you believe that Savannah can be better, that we still haven't seen the, the full article, the finished article? Oh, 100%. You know, look, the better woman won on the night. I'm not here to make excuses, because that's a mugs game. She had a good training camp. Clarissa won. She was a better fighter on the night. 
Is there more improvements to be made? Yes. Are we going to see better improvements? You know, look, you only see your weaknesses when you push to the max. So Clarissa brought out some of them weaknesses, which we've been in the gym and we've been correcting on them. So yes, there's going to be improvements. And yes, there's more to come from Savannah Marshall, 100%. And you'll see that on the 17th of June. For you, from your part, Ben, did you have um, any reservations? I mean, I touched on it earlier there. You know, nobody would have really batted an eyelid if, if Savannah did come back uh, in, in a very much a, a fight that was stacked in her favour and you started the route back towards uh, Clarissa Shields' fight. This one perhaps caught people a little bit by surprise. Yeah, I think that says um, everything you need to know about Savannah. As you say, as Peter says, in boxing usually a first defeat of a career, especially a defeat on that scale in that sort of fight, you, us you usually see a fighter go and take one, two, three fights. Savannah wanted the rematch straight away. She knew what went wrong in that fight. She wanted to get straight back in the ring with Clarissa Shields. We couldn't make that happen straight away. And what does she say? I'm going up in weight. I'm going to 168 and I'm going to take on the best. I think that says everything you need to know about where Savannah Marshall is at, what, how she's feeling and what she wants to do in this sport still. And it's to have the best, the biggest fights and to prove herself over and over again. Franchon Cruz deserves a lot of credit as well. She's coming over here as an undisputed champion, and that's what we want to see in boxing. As Peter said, as a boxing fan, this is a hell of a fight, and um, I can't wait. We'll get the final predictions from both fighters. I'll go to the challenger first, Savannah. Will you give us a prediction? Savannah Marshall win to I'm World Champion and the new. And Franchon well, Cruz. Let me, can I say one thing? I know you guys on the time. Let me say something. See, this is a difference. I'm gonna tell you the difference right here, right now between me and Savannah. The fact that you think you get, you get dog walk your last fight, think you get another shot, to have that inclination, I never had that luxury. So you fighting and you keep thinking you gonna walk over me and you gonna act like this isn't, this isn't happening right here, it's gonna be a long night for you. That's all I can tell you. We fight for two different things. Because for me, even when I win, I lose. When you lose, you get babysat. You get pushed. Oh, I get another opportunity. I want the rematch. Nah. Like this title, like the, like the poster say, all or nothing. You ain't got nothing. I got it all, and I'm going to keep it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it. See, we talked on Twitter. We say these things. You don't even have your sidekick April here. I, was, I wanted to meet her, too. You know, you, know, you know that. You know that. But we here right now. Right now. And I'm telling you. June seventeenth is going to be very fun for me. Mm. So I hope I, well. I hope very fun for me because you got a great trainer and Peter, but it's some things in boxing you can't teach, and the things you can't teach, that's what I have. Would you be confident enough to say that you win this fight by stoppage, or does that not matter? The method I, of victory is, is irrelevant. Winning baby. is all that matters. We, well, we don't we don't we don't train for stoppages. We train to punish you. We train to go to war where we come from. Spoil every day. We in the war mindset. We train, we come, we conquer. That's what we train for. Period. Okay. Well, I think that sums it up perfectly. I think we're going to pose for head to heads now. Um, just be wary, people at the front. We are live streaming cameras at the back, so if everyone can stay in their seats, but stay with us. We've got one more press conference to come, but for now, let's uh, pose for head to heads. Are we believe in those smiles, Johnny? Wow, very impressive. I think it was a, uh, <coughs> uh, a, a definite, certain speech by Desen Manchu uh, to throw our last statement to say, look, 
you know, this is a completely different setup here. These belong to me. Uh, she didn't have to threaten. She didn't have to brag. She didn't have to boast. Uh, but she did say, look, you're coming in to fight me for this one. And remember, she's in heels there. So she's actually the shorter fight of the two. But as you say, they're familiar with each other. So we'll see how this one rolls. Familiar with each other, but that was a long time ago now. Barry, it's sort of 2012. You can't really read too much into that, but it is still a rivalry that is there. Well, especially when you've lost, it, it digs in your claw. Like you, you never, you always, it's, it's the chance to beat someone who beat you. Especially if you think it was close and you could get that, you could, you know, it could have been your win. Then you're going to want to fight again. You're going to want, you're going to revenge. And she did well there, this because she kept it quiet, kept the respect right to the very 